Hey, it's Lisa, one of the admins with the Silhouette Cameo Beginners Newbie Hangout. I also run um, Vintage Gypsy, which is my little business that I run. I had some questions about being able to change your sizing on your mat. Um, since people have um, updated to version 4, most of our videos now are going to be in version 4 simply because so many people have updated. Um, so let me show you real quick. Um, some of the things have changed here. So it used to be this toolbar was across the top here. So all they did basically was shift it down here to the right. So here is your mat. You're going to go to the piece of paper. And this is your page setup. So if you look at yours, you might be able to see that it's maybe set for the current printer, which means whatever printer is hooked up to your computer or your laptop. Hit the drop down arrow. When it says Cameo Automatic, that means it's going to change it to a 12 by 12. This is, if it is not that reasoning, maybe it is this. Oops. So you may need to go in and change this size as well. But I would try to do the Cameo Automatic first. You can do orientation size, so we landscape or portrait. But the, port the landscape is only going to work as if you change this size to 24. Okay, so this is how you would actually change your mat size. So if you're using a 12-inch mat um, and you switch over to a 24-inch mat, which I suggest everybody buy one because you will need one eventually. So this is how you would change that. So you can, all this orientation does was, is flip it. So this is the landscape portion. And it all depends on, for me, like whatever design I'm working on. Usually my wood signs, um, I'm working in this direction typically for a lot of mine. Okay. The cutting mat size here is a 12 by 24. You can change it to a portrait or the cameo. If you're cutting with no mat, you're going to choose none. The curios are all listed here. The stamp. The original is probably, you could find it at a yard sale maybe. So I'm going to leave mine at 12 by 24. That's what I use all the time. Rotate my view. That's all that it means is rotate it around. But remember, it always loads into the machine this direction. So if you do it like this, it may confuse you because now your arrow is going the opposite way, unless your machine's on that side. Mine's always on this side. Okay, show your print border. The only time you're going to use the print border is going to be, see how it showed up here? Is basically what my computer or my printer is enabling me to print that size. So uncheck that. Make sure you show your coat, cut border is checked. See the little red line around here. If I take it off, it goes away. It just shows you these are the boundaries of where you can cut. Now, if you've went into YouTube and looked at the Silhouette uh, version 4 preferences setup, you need to go into look into that because this, yours may look different than mine. I've set mine up so that it'll cut all the way to the edge. I'll tell you a little bit more about the page setup while I'm in here. This reveal button just means how much of your mat do you want to reveal. See that? Just like that. Okay. Um, we're going to go to the next little tab inside the page setup. It's going to be your grid options. Show the grid, don't show the grid. Show grid lines, don't show grid lines. I don't like snap to grid because what it's going to do is no matter what design here, it's going to snap it to one of these lines. I don't like that. Um, the ruler, so we're going to look here at the top. The ruler's gone, the ruler's back. The crosshairs are those little things that I really hate. The only time I use the crosshairs um, is if I have two designs or I have two um, separate sentences of quotes I want to look at. I want to make sure that they're lined up. So I can click here, see how I have my crosshairs, drag this down. This also enables me to make sure things are a little lined up. That's what I use it for, but I keep them off most of the time. Spacing, I keep it at squares. The division means how many of these little squares do you want. I want spacing of one inch. You could do two inches. I keep mine at one inch because that's typically how I work. Okay. So suggestion. Division, so how many lines are in between. So you could do three or four. I like to keep mine at two because I know that this is an inch, this is a half inch. You can change the color of your mat. So if I want my mat to be black or pink or red, yellow whatever color, or you can change it to whatever color here if you like. Okay, the black looked really good actually. Okay, so the next icon that we have here, if we click onto this, this is the registration marks. Now you're going to be using this area specifically for when you are doing, say, print and cut. 
you need to have these registration marks on and you're always going to choose Cameo 1. Cameo 2, the type 2 is the original or the very old silhouette. Um, this always confused me. So think of type 1. This is going to be our Cameos 2 and 3, your portrait and your curios, okay? So when you turn these on, these are becoming your registration marks. The computer, I should say your software and your printer need this. This will actually help it go back in. So when you print it out on your printer, say you're doing a print cut, and then you slide it back into the silhouette cameo, it looks for these registration marks to make sure, sure, I can't talk, huh? To make sure everything is lined up, and then it should cut correctly. You do not want to have anything around these little hash marks. Otherwise, it will not print there. This is the cut line. Okay. You can do your length admission. I don't typically change these because I have had issues with it messing things up when I go in and do that. I leave all this alone. I don't enable my barcode. I don't do any of that stuff, okay? This would be requiring your Cameo 3, which we've not gotten into all that yet, okay? So that's basically a real quick rundown of your page setup. And what they did was they changed some things around. They basically condensed down some of the icons. So like this um, page panel now has several di different buttons within it, okay? So that's how you're going to be able to change your page setup. So if you were setting at current printer, go ahead and change it to your Cameo automatic. And it automatically goes to 12 inches. I always change mine to 24. Like I said, I always 24. So if you guys have any questions, give me a yell. Um, you can find me on Facebook. You can find me on our page. Tag me if you need to. Message me is okay as well. So I will talk to you guys later. I hope this helped. Have a good night. Bye-bye.